In the last few sessions we looked at special case multiplication where both the numbers were close to a power of 10. But this, it is a special case because um, if, the num if the numbers are too far away from the power of 10 then the, the step on the right becomes difficult. For example, if we have to multiply 65 by 35 using the Nicolum method, all from 9 and the last from 10, the deficiencies here are 35 and 65. And so when you come to the step on the right, you are faced with multiplying 35 by 65, which is exactly the same as what you started with. Fortunately, there is a general method for multiplying numbers of any size. You can do it in one line. It's very fast and easy, and it's uh, by the rule vertically and crosswise. So this is how it works. Let's take a simple example of 21 multiplied by 32. And here we multiply uh, vertically uh, the units digits together. 1 times 2 is 2. And the second step <coughs> is to multiply crosswise. 2 by 2 is 4. And 1 by 3 is 3. And then add those two products together. 4 add 3 is 7. And then the last step is to multiply together the two units, the, the two tens digits. Two, to, 2 times 3 gives 6, so it's 672. And this method um, can be extended, as already mentioned, and, and that will be done in the next session, because there are one or two things about this that uh, need to be shown first. Um, this method you can do starting from the left or the right. So if we were to start it from the from the left instead, we would multiply the two tens digits together, two threes are six, and then crosswise four add three is seven, and then once two is two. And in some cases that can be useful, particularly when multiplying decimal numbers together. And um, the only drawback with this is that if we have a larger uh, product, or a product with larger digits in, we may, may well land up with some some carry digits, which we then have to use uh, a second line for. So, <clears throat> in this example, we've got 36 times 64. Working from the right, six fours are 24, and then we've got three fours is 12, and six sixes 36. 36 add 12 is 48. Add this carry two makes 50. And then three sixes are 18, add the five is 23. But doing this from the left, we'd find, find this. We start with three sixes are 18. And then we've got 36 add 12 is 48. Which is eight with four to carry. And then six fours are 24. And you can see here that we'd need a second line to move these carry digits into the right place. So we have 4, 8 add 2 is 10, 8 add 5 is 13, and 1 add 1 is 2. You, you end up with the same answer, but it may require an extra line of working. But the reason why this is being shown at present is because it's useful for multiplying algebraic products together. So if we have, for example, x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 3, it's quite easy working from the left, starting with this step vertically, x times x is x squared, then crosswise 3x, and crosswise this way, 2 times x is 2x, and 3x and 2x gives 5x. And then finally, 2 times 3 is 6. And we can employ this for larger products algebraically, like this. Two x times five x gives ten x squared. Then we have 
plus 14x, we have minus 15x going this way, add those two together, we get minus 1x, and minus 3 times 7 is minus 21. And um, that is a, a very neat and useful way of, of um, multiplying algebraically. But going back to this example, x plus 2 times x plus 3, it is really numerically equivalent to multiplying 12 by 13. And using virtually and crosswise, you can see 1 times 1 is 1. Three, once 3 is 3, once 2 is 2, and add is 5. And two threes are 6. And the relationship here is that if you substitute, if we substitute x is 10 here, we arrive at 12. And x is 10 here, we arrive at 13. And so these two are really equivalent to one another. And one of the features of Wedic mathematics is that the algebraic method and the numerical method, arithmetic method, are linked together through this, uh, often through this substitution of uh, allowing x to be 10. Now in the next session, we'll look at multiplying larger numbers together in one line.